Welcome to part 4 of Psalm 119 here on the Daily Psalm series. Today we're going to read Psalm 119 verse 137 to 176. Let's get into the reading. Sada Righteous are you, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. Your testimonies which you have commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal has consumed me because my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word is very pure, therefore your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is truth. Trouble and anguish have overtaken me, yet your commandments are my delights. The righteousness of your testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding and I shall live. Cough. I cry out with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord. I will keep your statutes. I cry out to you. Save me and I will keep your testimonies. I rise before the dawning of the morning and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes are awake through the night watches that I may meditate on your word. Hear my voice according to your loving kindness. O Lord, revive me according to your justice. They draw near who follow after wickedness. They are far from your law. You are near, O Lord, and your commandments are truth. Concerning your testimonies, I have known of old that you have founded them forever. Resh. Consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great are your tender mercies, O Lord. Revive me according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet I do not turn from your testimonies. I see the treacherous and am disgust, because they do not keep your word. Consider how I love your precepts. Revive me, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. The entirety of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. Shin. Princes persecute me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. I hate and abhor lying, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. Lord, I hope for your salvation, and I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Tau, let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips shall utter praise, for you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall speak of your word, for all your commandments are righteousness. Let your hand become my help, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. And that's the end of Psalm 119, guys. I'm really seeing a lot of emphasis on the Word of God. And the specific verse that stands out to me is verse 160, which says, The entirety of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. I don't know about you guys, but I believe that God's word, even though many men of God wrote the word of God, I believe the entire word of God is inspired by God, is God-breathed, and I believe that everything from Genesis to Revelation in the Holy Word of God is true. There's no one that can deny God's word. There's no one that can stand against God and his word. 
I also like verse 148 where it says, My eyes are awake through the night watches that I may meditate on your word. The person who wrote this is very hungry for God. And what does that say to us? That says to us that we can also make improvements in our hunger for God. In verse 164, it says, Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgments. And what I'm reminded of by that is the fact that there is plenty of time in a day and we can praise God multiple times in the day. We can spend time with God multiple times in the day because God is always with us and he's always there, but we are not always giving him our attention. So what does it hurt for us to take a praise break and just say, wow, I'm just grateful, Father God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the food that I get to eat. Thank you for the work that I get to do. Thank you for everything that you've given me. And just thank God and praise God throughout your day, apart from your devotion time. Still have your quiet time with the Lord where you are cutting yourself off from all distractions. But I think we can spend time with God a lot more than you think. And so let's get used to spending more time with God, inviting Him into everything that we do and thank Him in everything. Praise God, guys. Let's close in prayer now before the end of the video. Heavenly Father God, we come before you in Jesus' name. We bless your name, Father, and we thank you for your precious word that is life to us. Help us to see, Father God, how easy it is to spend time with you. Help us to see how amazing it is to spend time with you and in your word. So teach us your ways, Father God. Give us grace and bring us back from stagnation and laziness with our time spent with you. And help us to grow in hunger for you, Father God, more and more every day. Help us to put aside the fleshly desires Thank you, Father, for mercy. Thank you for your kindness and your patience upon us. Draw us, Father God, to the things that are yours, the things that are godly, and keep us on the right path, I pray. Lord, I lift up those who are watching this video, that you would just bless them, protect them, provide for them, and heal them. And in your mighty name, Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching today, guys. I will see you tomorrow for Psalm 120. God bless you and may the peace of Jesus rest upon you in his mighty name. Amen.